Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Crash Mosquito 148 scale diorama. Now straight away I must make an apology. Um, for some reason the video didn't capture a couple of the uh, steps that I was doing. Uh, one mainly that I was putting a uh, sheet of uh, tissue paper on the back here. Uh, stuck down with some uh, clear lacquer and uh, sanded that in and uh, attempted to make a bullet hole which uh, if we can just make that out there just using a drill not too happy with it but I'll leave it there for now and then what I might do is once uh, all the camouflage and, and everything's been put on I might then actually make some more and uh, enhance those uh, doing them last rather than trying to do them first I think is probably a better way to go um, also as you can see I've put, uh, put a coat of colour on and uh, actually done a bit of pre-shading as well um, again didn't go through that but uh, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube about how to pre-shade um, and I also uh, finished off the propellers or just done the preliminaries of putting the uh, the propellers in to the bosses and uh, put some disc of clear oh, white styrene on the back and uh, then bent the props uh, just by bending over a pencil or a pen just gently at a time just gently pushing through and uh, bending right at the very end and uh, on all three on both sides so that we end up with the uh, bent props uh, the top one being the uh, the most bent so that when you uh, actually put those on I don't know if you can actually make that out let's come over here you get the idea when it's on the on the ground there we go like all the props have hit hit the floor and uh, bent up so yeah so that's how we got to it but like I say apologies that the, the video didn't turn out um, what I will do next is uh, we'll carry on doing some uh, masking up now to do the camouflage um, I'll put the base coat on the uh, on the under floor first and then uh, proceed to mask up the demarcation lines and then we'll start doing the uh, the camouflage just as much in the same way as we've done the other one with the blue tack um, and then proceed to put in the camouflage paint scheme um, maybe I'll just make out here now that there's all one uniform colour that the actual damage on the rudder looks rather nice there we go, oh no, there we go so yeah that's come out quite well and uh, it's resisted the paint so that's, that's a good thing so yeah we'll carry on now and uh, we'll do some masking up and uh, start putting in on the uh, on the colors and then from there we'll uh, do some washes and weathers and uh, then we'll carry on okay okay right well we've now uh, masked off all the demarcation lines around the, uh, the cells, around the front of the, uh, the nose and also on the back there uh, and I've also, you can just make out it's very faint but I'll just marked out, there we go uh, the camouflage pattern, what I'll do is I'll freehand the, uh, the grey to start off with and then once that's uh, dry we'll then go with the blue tack and then do all the uh, demarcation lines for the green and then stick those on as well so uh, hopefully I'm going to try and uh, set up the camera so that you can actually see how I spray my paints but uh, if it doesn't then we'll just come back afterwards and uh, show you the uh, the first step with the uh, with the grey okay right so let's carry on
okay right well i hope you could see uh, what i was doing there um as you can see all the uh, the gray is now on and uh it's looking quite neat, neat and tidy uh now I, what i actually might do is uh, attempt to actually do the green freehand since that the uh, the airbrush is nice and uh, fine at the moment so i'll give that a go if not we can always go back with the uh, blue tech method and uh carry on and do it like that so uh, yeah we'll have a go at that and see how she turns out okay right come back Okay, right. Well, after a bit of uh, hassle, where the, uh, the compressor decided to uh, 
give up the ghost I had to swap out the uh, the unit uh, and put the new one onto the tank uh, I managed to finish off the uh, the camouflage um, I think we can just make out there it's very neat very tidy first time we're doing it without the uh, blue tack method so I'm quite happy with that now before we put a gloss coat on I'm going to go and start doing the, the uh, exhaust uh, stains and uh, the wet some weathering and also uh, just uh, air so sort of brush on some uh, scorch marks before we uh, lay down a gloss coat and then uh, we'll carry on from there okay right let's carry on Okay, right, so we've got the basics of the uh, exhaust stains and some scorch marks. Uh, the idea is just to place those there so that when we start doing the weathering I can then uh, build up on those with uh, different colours so that it looks more realistic. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, go from here, just let that uh, dry off and uh, then we'll put a coat of clear over the top and then we'll think about uh, putting some decals on and then uh, and yet another clear coat and then go on from there to start doing the weathering okay so it's coming on very nice okay right well we just put a quick uh, coat of clear on uh, as you can see it's all nice and shiny um, whilst I was off camera I uh, also uh, put in one of the uh, landing lights you can just see here just but just a normal piece of uh, white styrene and uh, filed it to shape and I've just put some uh, canopy glue over the top uh, not going to want to actually make it completely see through but what I'll do is I'll give it a coat of silver and then the uh, clear colour over the top probably do the same here but I'm thinking of actually adding some damage to the wing, wing tip here uh, as it is like in the film so uh, I'm just going to have a think about that before I actually attempt that if not uh, I will do exactly the same as what's on the other side now the next step is going to be deckling now what I've decided to do because I haven't got the large uh, roundels for the top of the wings is I've made up some or making up some masks so I can paint my own now to do that I'm using uh, it's called uh, aura mask 810 um, and uh, basically using a uh, compass cutter and making out uh, cutting out the outer and then the inner rings for the colors and uh, what I'll do is I will paint the inner white first and then uh, just so I can give it a base coat and then go over with uh, the middle of the cutout here and then use uh, to put the blue and then eventually put the red in but then using the positive as opposed to the negative of the other mask that goes on the inside now so I can keep it nice and straight what I've done is I've used the uh, the center holes where the compass goes through and uh, just made a mark on both so that when they line up it should be dead center so that should all be good now what I will do is I'll just show you how I've done those um, this is a compass cutter basically it's like a compass but with instead of a pen uh, or a lead tip it's got a blade and if we can just make that out in there 
there we go okay and basically you just set it to the diameter that you need and uh, just move that one out of the way and uh, then you just uh, put it into the uh, the film and then go round gently otherwise you go too hard it will cut all the way through and uh, it's a bit fiddly especially on a smaller diameter circles but uh, you get the idea like so and uh, should have a nice clean cut so that when you peel the film back there we go okay so that's what uh, that's what I've done to make up the uh, roundels for the wings um, what I'll do now is I'll uh, set up and uh, put in the white base coat and then we'll put some color in okay
Okay, so far a very good attempt at actually doing the roundels. Not bad at all, as you probably noticed on when I was taking off the masking, I actually got some uh, paint lifted, so it obviously wasn't keyed on there very well. So what I'll do is I'll touch that in later on with the airbrush once this is all settled down and dried. But uh, yeah, quite uh, quite pleased with this, how the stencils have turned out, considering they were handmade. Uh, had to do a couple of little passes on the red where the uh, overhang which cut was turning out white but uh, once we stretched it and uh, maneuvered it into place yeah I don't think that's looking too bad at all okay right next thing we'll do is uh, to think about start putting the uh, the decals on and uh, then we'll do a bit of weathering okay okay right well I'll just quickly put uh, a coat of the uh, grey back on on that uh, area where the paint had lifted so now that when I do the uh, the clear lacquer again after the decals that should all blend in nicely um, I think that'll be it for part three um, so next time when we come back in part four we'll carry on with the decals and uh, then start doing the weathering so if you do like these uh, video builds like and subscribe and uh, Take care, I'll we'll see you soon, and uh, if you can, go out and build a model. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye for now.